Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Chani again and for today's video, we will talk about the new update from YouTube which is... I assume you already know. Yeah, that's what we are going to talk about. Ang dami-dami kong nakikita guys sa social media, especially sa mga Facebook groups regarding YouTube. Napapraning sila guys and hindi sila mapakali kasi nga nashock sila eh. Baga, nabigla sila sa bagong update from YouTube. Sino ba naman ang hindi mabibigla, ba diba? Kung ganitong email yung makita mo. But, today, I will take away those frustrations on your heads. I will explain to you guys what's the meaning behind that email na kinapapraningan nyo. Opo! Isisiwalat ko po ang katotohanan. Charat! I-explain ko sa inyo guys kung ano nga bang ibig sabihin nung email na natanggap natin. Hindi ko lubos ma-imagine no, kung anong mga dinadamdam nyo dyan. Siyempre, sino ba namang hindi magagalit? Sino ba namang hindi mapapraneng kung ganong email yung marireceive nyo? Opo, yung iba, nasa isipan nila na... Hindi pa nga ako nakakasweldo kay YouTube. Meron na naman ganito. Hindi pa nga ako na-approve sa partner program. Meron na naman ganito. Hi. And siguro yung iba dyan, nakawala na ng gana. Alam ko, naiintindihan ko yan. I really understand where you're coming from, guys. So for today, tatapusin ko na yung mga haka-haka, okay? And mga maling pinaniniwalaan at maling mga explanation ng iba dyan, no? So, tayong lahat ng mga YouTuber at my channel at my email, of course, na associated tayo kay YouTube, syempre nakareceive tayo ng pinaka-importanteng email nila, no? And, iisa-isahin natin yan, okay? Babasahin ko sa inyo tapos i-explain ko sa inyo kada linya. Siguro, kung magpo-focus lang tayo dun sa highlighted na part, yung naka-bold na part na black eh, talagang mapapraning talaga, no? Babasahin ko. Ito yung nakabold. We are reaching out because Google will be required to deduct U.S. taxes from payments to creators outside U.S. later this year, as early as June 2021. Over the next few weeks, we'll be asking you to submit your tax info in AdSense to determine the correct amount of taxes to deduct if any apply if your tax info isn't provided by uh, 31st of may 2021 google may be required to deduct up to 24 percent of your total earnings worldwide so ito bakit ba naman kasi ito hinighlight oo no kung yan lang yung pagbabasihan nyo guys talagang mamo problema kayo, di ba? Na parang laki naman yata ng 24% sa overall na earnings natin, di ba? Na ididedak kung hindi tayo magpo-provide ng tax info. Pero, eto guys, ano lang to, parang highlight nung kabuuan ng email. Pero, meron silang explanation sa baba. So, what do you need to do, di ba? Sabi nila, mag-submit ka ng tax information in AdSense. So, log in to your account in AdSense and then, mag-submit ka doon ng tax information mo. Merong six steps sa uh, online na tax tool nila. You have to answer a series of questions para, para mag-guide kayo through the process and para ma-determine talaga if may US tax ba na kailangan i-apply. Okay? Bakit nga ba ito nangyayari? Yun yung question. Kasi nga, part ito ng law nila. It's under Chapter 3 sa U.S. Internal Revenue nila na kailangan silang mag... Kailangan nilang kumuha ng tax, okay? Pero, here's the catch. Hindi naman po lahat kukuha na ng tax eh. At saka hindi naman po yung overall mo na estimated revenue yung kukuna ng tax. Okay? Makinig kayo, okay mga bata? Charot. <laughs> Pay attention. Again, hindi lahat ng total earnings mo sa YouTube Analytics ang kukunan ng tax. Okay? Makinig. Bakit? Sabi nga ng Internal Revenue Code nila na mag-collect ng tax info from all 
monetizing creators outside the U.S., tayo mga Pinoy, kasali of course, and deduct taxes in certain instances when they earn income from viewers in the United States. So, ito yung ibig sabihin, guys. Tax will apply only if and only if you have viewers in the United States. Yung specific na view lang galing dun sa US and yung specific na revenue lang from ad views or YouTube premium, kung may super chat, kung may super stickers and channel membership man sa akin, sa channel ko na galing doon sa citizen ng US, eh, yun lang yung makukuna ng tax, guys. How will my earnings be impacted? Ito na nga yung sinasabi ko kanina, no? Sabi nila, U.S. taxes may only be applied to your monthly U.S. earnings from AdSense, okay? This will come from the revenue earned from viewers in the United States through ad views, YouTube premium, super chat, super stickers, and channel membership. So, as what I said earlier, no? Yung mga views nyo na galing sa US lang, kukuha na ng tax, okay? If no tax info is provided, your tax rate may default to the higher individual backup withholding rate, which is 24% of total earnings worldwide. So, ito yun, guys. Ito yun. Ito yung sinasabi na 24%. If and only if hindi kayo makapag-provide nung tax information nyo dun sa AdSense, automatic, after May 31, no, this year, automatic may default tax na 24% na deduction sa worldwide earnings nyo, guys, sa worldwide pa. So, as early as possible, no, mag-provide na kayo ng tax info. So long as nag-provide kayo ng tax information nyo dun sa AdSense na nire-require mismo ni Google, wala kayong problema. Mm -mm. Walang 24%. Oo. So, again ha, ito, recap. So, the tax will only be applied if you have viewers in the United States. If, of course, di ba, if you are earning from them, might as well, kuha na na din kayo ng tax, di ba? Kasi nga, nag-earn din kayo. Nag-earn kayo ng revenue from them as being your viewers in the United States. Malaki din, malaki din yung revenue makukuha mo pag meron kang mga viewers from United States kasi 'di ba, dollars 'yun. Tax will be applied if 'yun nga, meron kayong mga viewers sa US. And this will be in default for 24% if hindi kayo nakapag-provide ng tax info. Pero pag nakapag-provide kayo ng tax info at na-approve na kayo, walang 24% na default, okay? If you have questions, Please don't hesitate to leave a comment on the comment section below and I will definitely check on it and I will reply to you as soon as I can, okay? Thank you so much for watching.